I'm losing Allah because I've been asleep to this concept that time is running out. Irrespective of your religion, forget Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Atheism, can't we all agree that time is running out? Whether you believe something happens after this or not is irrelevant. Isn't time running out? Time is. But it exists. So believe in this message. Otherwise, you're a loser. The first thing is, we need to stop avoiding pain. We need to stop it. We need to stop avoiding the pain and enjoying the short-term pleasure. La ilaha illallah. alhamdulillah, nahmudu wa nasta'inu wa nasta'afiru wa na'udhu billahi min shuri anfusina wa min sayyati amalina من يهد الله فلا مذل له ومن يذلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم. We begin by praising Allah subhanahu wa taala, thanking Allah subhanahu wa taala and acknowledging Allah and seeking refuge in Allah from the evils of our own souls and the evils of our own actions. We bear witness that whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows to be led astray, there's none who can guide. And whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leads towards guidance and goodness, there's none who can distract from that goodness. And we bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam indeed is the final messenger and slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu taqallah haqqa tuqati. Oh, you have believed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about us. Oh, you have believed, have taqwa in Allah, be conscious of Allah, be mindful of Allah, be aware of Allah, be woke that Allah is watching you when you do something throughout your day. And do not die in any other condition except submitting your will to Allah. Submitting your will or obtaining peace, does that mean the only way that we can die is in sujood? No. The way that we die is by making sure that every part of our body, our lifestyle, is dedicated to worshiping Allah. That is the condition that we have to die in. Today's topic is going to be about time. The first part is going to be understanding what time is and how Allah SWT has related that time to us. The second part is going to be about procrastination and how a person can take immediate action instead of just waiting around. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by time, well us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, well us. And not just time, asr isn't time, asr is a type of time that's depleting, like this is asr time, right? You know that, oh man, there's only 40 minutes left until maghrib. Time is going by really, really quick. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing by. He's swearing about time that is running through your fingers. You're running out of time. Imagine a video game where the timer is uh, counting down. Imagine a life situation where there's a timer and you're being timed. A game situation, a sports situation where there's a timer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing by the time that is counting down and depreciating. It's depleting from you. Imagine the hourglass. And imagine that time that just keeps slipping by. That's us. That's what we're talking about. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing by that type of time. Well, us. Swearing by time that's depleting. And he says, <laughs> Humanity, not Muslims, not those who believe, not kuffar, not like, you know, munafics, not people. Humans, the creation of Allah. If you are a creation of Allah, you're a human being, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to us. He says, human beings are drowning in loss. We are losing. So one time is being lost. And he's saying human beings are losing as well. Whether you like it or not, you're losing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to be woke to this idea. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, well, us, swearing by time that's going away. In the insan al Except in the ladina. Except. Amen. Those who believe. Not in Allah, not in the Quran, not in the Messenger of Islam, not in the last divine Messenger of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi No. Those who believe in this message, that time is running out. Time is running out and human beings are losing. If you believe in this message, you will be saved. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In the Ladina Avenue, accept those who believe in this message, that time is running out. Shape up. Fix it up. 
Your time is depreciating. You're going to lose if you don't wake up. So the ones who are getting saved are the ones who believe. Amen. Why are you sorry, hot? And now that they woke up, they believe in this message. Hang on a second. This is really happening. Time is really leaving me. Allah SWT says, and they do good deeds. Not just any good deeds, but deeds to make up for all the time they were asleep. All the times that they weren't woke. Allah SWT is saying the ones who believe in this message and then they do good deeds. And then he says, And when it comes to the people, they speak the truth, justice. What is justice? This message right here. That you go to people, but the first person that you got to tell is yourself. That Allah, time is running out, I gotta wake up. I'm losing Allah because I've been asleep to this concept that time is running out. So my job right now is to do a lot of good deeds. I believe in this message, I'm gonna do a lot of good deeds. And I'm gonna spread this truth so that everyone knows time is running out. Isn't that a fact? Irrespective of your religion, Forget Islam, Christianity, Judaism, atheism. Can't we all agree that time is running out? Whether you believe something happens after this or not is irrelevant. Isn't time running out? Time is. Imagine our lives could be an hourglass and we could see where we are right now in the hourglass. Well, lucky it's a blessing from Allah that you can't because you'd be stressed out. If you knew that all you had was this much time left and it was slipping by, you'd, you'd go crazy. Or if you knew that you had this much time left and it's slowly trickling, you might get lazy as well. So you might go crazy, you might become lazy. So Allah, out of His wisdom, decided that He's going to let us know that you might not be able to see this hourglass clock in which your time is depreciating, but it exists. So believe in this message. Otherwise, you're a loser. Otherwise, you are losing because time is going to win. There's a saying that goes that father time is undefeated. No matter what you do, you get old. It's undefeated. Time is something that can't, we, we can't control it. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing by something that only he can control. There's no such thing called a time machine. That's all science fiction. They'll never be able to figure out how to go back because it can't. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who's in control of this. So what do you do? You realize the haq. And then what do you do? So now that you know this message, now you gotta be patient with yourself because guess what? Every now and then, you're gonna fall asleep to this message. You're gonna forget that time is running out and that you're losing. Unless you believe in this message, you will continue to lose. And then there's gonna be times where you might slip up and not do a good deed. There might be times where you slip and you don't enjoy the good and forbid the evil. Don't spread the hawk. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving me the last piece of advice. Have patience with yourself. Have patience with your family members around you when trying to explain this message. Your loved ones, your friends, your family, have patience when you're trying to wake them up from your slumber. But make sure that you get woke first. In the second part of the book, inshallah, we're going to be talking about procrastination and how we can actually control that and take over our lives and become stronger with lives as well too. Abdul Bali Hadi was up really well. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah. So the first part of the book when we talked about how time is depreciating from us. It's depleting from us. It's slipping our fingers. And we are all losers if we don't acknowledge this, if we don't believe in this. Once you believe in this, you heard this message, you're woke now. Now that you hear this message, it's time for you to do some good deeds to make up for that time. And after you've done the good deeds, spread the truth, spread the haq, and then be patient with the results. Be patient. Be patient with your du'as. Be patient in whatever you do, because that's the only way that you can be successful. But as you, you're going to tell me how to stop procrastinating. We've all been in situations, whether it's a paper that we have to write for our university or class or school, some homework. Why is it that some of us can get the whole weekend, we might not do any homework, but on Sunday night, somehow, we figure out the inspiration, the energy, the focus to just do our homework. And then what do we do? We promise ourselves, never again. I'm going to do my homework on Friday night, so I'm good. I can have the weekend to myself to enjoy. Guess, guess what happens? 
You know you have homework that's due on Monday. You know it's Friday right now. Saturday, Sunday is a day off, sure. So you procrastinate. You say, I'll do my homework later or tomorrow. We've all been there. And then what happens? You have an anxiety that something is waiting in the background. But no, 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 no. I want to have fun right now. And if it's too much pain to do the homework, I don't want to do that. Until what happens? You're forced to acknowledge the pain. You're forced. Why? Because you wanted momentary pleasure of having fun on a Saturday and avoiding that pain, so much so that it flips over. That there's so much pain that it's unavoidable that you can't even find happiness in not doing it. So Sunday night comes, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., you're rushing, you're doing it quickly. But here's the good news, it gets done. The question you need to ask yourself is, why does it get done? Why is it just this homework example? It does it for other things too. What about your car gasoline? Hmm? Your light already said that you should go get it filled up, but you wait until it gets to the reds. You wait until there's nothing when it says zero miles left. Why is it that we're procrastinating? Why aren't we taking action? Because for that, two things need to happen. The first thing is we need to stop avoiding pain. We need to stop it. We need to stop avoiding the pain and enjoying the short-term pleasure. Instead, flip it around. Tell yourself that, hey, if I can do this painful act right now, I'll have more pleasure later on. Wouldn't you be better off if you did your homework for an hour on Friday? Wouldn't it be better for you to what? If that paper that was due for your university, if you did it the day, not the day it was due, but the weeks before when your professor told you it was due. Wouldn't it have been so much more nicer that you're on the highway, your gas tank's already filled up, you don't have to fill up anything. Why? Because you are proactive. So one thing that we all have to be is become proactive. And what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach us? In this short sort of powerful three verses. Powerful. What does he teach us? To take action. One us. Inna al-insana lafikus. Inna ladina amanu wa amanu salihats. They do good deeds. They did some action. You realize something was depleting. You did some action. Your gas tank was empty. You put some action. But the reason we did it is because it had something called, and this is important, leverage. When something has leverage over you, you'll get it done. The reason you wait until Sunday night to do your homework, because Monday is the leverage. Friday, Saturday was just chill time. If you would have somehow tricked your brain in the mind, oh my God, my homework's due tomorrow, you would have done it Friday night. Sunday isn't real, Saturday isn't real, Monday isn't real. These are all ideas in our heads. This is a leverage point. If you can somehow get in your head like, no, no, I got to do this right now. I got to pray right now. I'm not going to wait 10 minutes before Maghrib or, or, or Isha or, or, or Doha or excuse me, or us. You don't got to wait time. Put the pressure on you now. Leverage yourself. If I don't do this, then this will happen. The moment there's leverage, I promise you, this will force you to go into action. Then guess what? When you do this, you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna like it. You're gonna encourage other people to do it too. Like, go, oh, go do this. Go try this. Do your homework on Friday. I promise you, Saturday Sunday feels so much better. Put some gas in your car. Get it washed. Do all these things before it's due. I promise you, it feels so much better. And then what happens? You gotta be patient with yourself because there's gonna be some bad habits. You might have some bad friends. You might have some people around you say, bro, come on though. Right? Like, let's just play this video game now. Do your homework a little later. That's when you have to tell them, no, 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 no. The leverage is right now, I feel like I gotta do it now. So do it then. That's how you take ownership and then you remove procrastination. But the reason that we procrastinate, the reason we do that is because the leverage isn't high enough. The moment the leverage is high enough, meaning the paper is due, the homework is due, your car is about to run out of gas, something major is about to happen. Your lights or electricity don't shut off, so now you finally pay the bill. Something's going to shake you up. The moment that happens, that's the moment you're going to shake up your life. But don't wait for that moment. If that moment doesn't exist, create it in your head so that you can do it and act upon it. Because indeed, time is slipping our hands. We ask Allah SWT to bless us. We ask Allah SWT to forgive us. And we ask Allah SWT to allow us to take 
use of his time, the time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not allow the son of Adam's feet to move until he questions him about the time he spent. How do you spend his time in this dunya? Your grave and my grave will be a reflection of how we spend our time in this dunya. Ya Allah, please allow our graves to be promising good things, guarded from paradise, a good reflection of how we spend our time in this dunya. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama salli ta'ala ibrahim wa ala ala ibrahim inna kahmi al-mujid. Allahumma barak ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama salli ta'ala ibrahim wa ala ala ibrahim inna kahmi al-mujid. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa kina adab al-nar. Allah protect us from the hellfire, give us goodness in this world and allow us to be of those who are good in our graves and in the hereafter as well. Allah, those of us who are procrastinating, Allah, Allah, give us the skill set, the ability, the sense of urgency to get our work done early, Allah, so we don't procrastinate to come to you and your salah. Because Allah, you never procrastinate when it comes to answering our du'as. Never. Allah, you're swift to come to us, come near to us, come close to us. So Allah, please allow us not to procrastinate. Allow us to be good worshippers of you, Allah. Allow us to submit to you as well. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ibrahim 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 wa ala 